all right all right here we are again dcs world about to make it happen music's going to be cutting off really quickly here so as you can see we're not doing x-plane today we're doing dcs world again as we've been doing a lot of training with this and uh we being me and i am pretty much ready to uh make another mission here this won't be a training mission this is actually part of the georgian hammer campaign um, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, stop the music and jump into the DCS world here. You can see we're in our A-10, we're on the ramp and, uh, the mission is getting ready to start. I have the, uh, mission paused right now, but we're going to jump right into it and go handle our objective today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just stop the music there and of course go ahead and jump right into the aircraft I'm just messing with some stuff here with obs and uh hopefully you guys can hear me all right all right so you can see here we're in obs i have it paused but i'm gonna go ahead and unpause it now we can hear the world happening here so let's go ahead and jump on the flight deck here and uh, get our aircraft up and moving as well. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, something was a little mouse mess up just because uh, I had it on the other screen. We're gonna get the APU started here. You can hear my counterpart out there, uh, my wingman out there starting his aircraft up as well. All right. I'm not going to really do a whole big talk through about uh, what we're doing today. Just going to do our flow so we can get out of here. And then I'll explain some stuff uh, when I can. All right. We've got some power here. In one second here i do need to just pause the simulation really quick and make sure that i still have you guys up and for whatever reason my youtube closed down on me make sure i'm still streaming here all right perfect lost the chat there for a second All right, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I started pushing buttons and then I lost the stream. So, uh, all right, back to business and the matter at hand. Okay, we do have the uh, APU all situated. Well, I'm having lots of problems today. Let me fix my remote now. I promise you we're gonna get it together here. All right, anyway, so we have this all up and going. Let's go ahead and close the canopy. 
All right, canopy is closed there. Now we can go ahead and start initializing some systems here. Let's go ahead and get our CDU up and running. All right, gonna kick you on our IFCC. Let's go ahead and start the bit test. Get that going. We can put on our pitch and yaw stabilizers. Alright, let's go ahead and turn our radios on here. Boom and boom. Alright. Put our frequency in here so we can talk to the ramp. Matter of fact, we can just go ahead and do that now. The Tumi, Hog 1 1, request startup. Pull up, pull up. Hog 1 1, altitude, altitude. All right, so sorry that's a little loud. I should have turned that down, but we didn't. All right, so the bit test is done here, so we could go ahead and exit that. Let's use our down rocker. Boom, exit. All right, now we can turn the uh, IFCC back on. There we go. Now we can also do our data cartridge loading here. All right, so far not bad. It doesn't really take much to get this aircraft up and running. All right, let's do a couple tests here that we didn't do. All right, I'm just testing to make sure our gauges work because they will malfunction. Let's do our indicator test. Okay, it looks good. And it looks like the data cartridges have been uploaded, so let's get that situation here. We'll see how much longer we have in alignment, which is good. We still got plenty of time to get this startup going. Let's go ahead and start the left engine. Should start seeing some rotation there. Let's go down here and monitor these gauges quick. I'm just going to stick program A today and put it on auto. Not a whole lot. There's some aircraft activity out there, as you can see. Um, there's the AWACS. Uh, so not a whole lot of SAMs, but definitely stuff to worry about. All right, we got the warning, so that means the engine's pretty much coming stable. It's got to let for this temperature to drop here, and we can go ahead and start our second engine. Let's check the second engine here. You can see we got some rotation there. All right, gauges are alive. Engine's on its way up, so the start process is happening there. All right, let's go ahead and turn our ATARs on, just for our data link with other aircraft, which we won't be using in this flight, of course. Altimeter here is going to be 2-9-er, uh, 8-9-er. It's pretty much the standard altimeter. Almost there. Bit test is still going on. CDU still doing its thing. Da -da -da. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we also get our lights on. Anti-collision on as well. We've got our anti-skid. Now that the engines are up and running, let's go ahead and turn the APU generator off. Over here. Turn that APU off. And now we can do our takeoff trim. Arm this. We also need to come back here. Oh, you know what? Can't do it yet. We gotta finish waiting for this to align. I usually beat this but I or this usually beats me but I beat it today so now we are aligned you can see it's flashing so we're good to go now we can go ahead and put our Iggy nav on and also do our steer point here so that we can find out information on our HSI 
then now, of course, we can come here and put that on path. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go here. Let's go ahead and do a few things here. Uh, let's get our TGP on, and we won't arm yet until we get airborne. But let us just come in here and grab our profiles here. So we got some GBU tins on there today, which these are going to be need to use. We need to use those in order to drop this. Our objective today, which is dropping a bridge not too far from here. So let's go into that profile first. And, uh, you know, I think I'm going to leave them in uh, rip single. The rip quantity uh, is just going to be one. I just want to launch one at a time. Let's use the CCRP mode. And let's set our auto lays to on. And the lays time and altitude, let's set that up. Lays time is going to be about 10 seconds. And minimal altitude is going to be 1,000 feet. We'll climb out. Auto lays on. Eject. Da, da, da. Now I'm going to save this profile. But then I'm going to go back and check it. Because sometimes it comes in. It doesn't save. So let's view the profile. Rip single quantity, CCRP, let's see, minimum altitude, laser time, 10 seconds. All right, that's cool. So that also means we need to come in here and set up the laser information. So we are want to turn this on now. And the bearing there is pretty much going to be a northern bearing. So we can just assume 359 on the heading. And we're going to do a range. We're going to make it active, uh, let's say... Uh, 19 miles prior to there. Well, let's clear that out. Why not? Let's do it uh, 15 miles from waypoint. Uh, yeah, 15 miles. We'll do it from waypoint 3, even though that's not the target area. Just so we can get it going on. All right, bada bing, bada boom, that's on there. Now we can also uh, certainly come down here and make sure that our laser is armed. So that's up and we'll arm the rest later. So that's gonna get us going there so that we can get up in the air and get on target. And the good thing is our the bridge uh, is waypoint four and it's already pretty much right at the target bridge. So that ought to be a good thing. Let's get back on the tad here and <clears throat> let's get out of here. All right, there's waypoint one. The two me, hog one, one, request taxi to runway. Those wheel steering's on. Let's get our flaps down. Hog one, 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 two me, clear to taxi to runway three, one. All right, and we are cleared to taxi. So there's no need to belabor this. Let's go ahead and get our taxi lights on. And one final check here of all of everything. APU's off. And we'll get this to standby once we get up. And we'll get our pedo heat going on. like the wingman already got behind me Let's see if we can check them out in the mirrors here there he is right behind us right there cool alright go ahead and close those for now Request this taxi there. Hog one one. Request takeoff. Pedo heat on. Hog one one. Batumi, you are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb three zero zero at QFE two nine decimal eight nine. 
All right, got those on flash. You can see my mouse is tripping right now. That's okay. We'll just line up, and before we do our roll, I'll do my flight controls here really quick. Give our wingman enough space to stagger, take off. Just kind of roll here for a second. They usually don't mess up like this. All right, and automatically activated the brakes, which is no problem. All right, let's do this. getting up here today. All right, we're going to go ahead and rotate. All right, we do have positive rate. It flaps all the way up. Pretty much get right on our first waypoint, so let's go ahead and navigate to the second one. I'm going to try to pick up some altitude here, though. So as we make our turn, we'll get our landing lights and stuff off and go dark here. And our speed right about 180. Got about another... Uh, 10 degrees to go now on the turn. We'll be direct waypoint two. All right, as you can see there's waypoint two. Get ready to go dark here. Let's go ahead and get all of our lights off. There we are. So we're dark up in the game. Let's go ahead and get our TGP started and let's get that to air to ground mode. Let's keep getting this. Uh... Okay, now what we're going to do in the DSMS is we are going to get our GPUs going. It's going to activate both of them. See there, I don't know why it's in CCIP, but that's maybe the mode on the HUD. So we calculated these for CCRP, which is fine. Because uh, that's the first thing we're going to be doing is dropping those bad boys. So with the spirit of that, monitor our airspeed. Airspeed is a little faster than I wanted. And we're almost to our waypoint. Okay, da-da-da-da. All right, let's go ahead and do our master arm. Now you can see those are green. All right, I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. So I only want to keep about 200 knots. We're not climbing so aggressively, but we're, we're climbing good enough. We'll get direct to three. All right, let's look at the threats. Got an F-16 behind us. An 18 and a 16. And this diamond, this guy right in front of us, he just fell off. All right, so let's go ahead and do our turn to our ingress point. Bringing that speed back just a little bit.
pretty much straight to uh, this bridge. So let me level this aircraft out here. I don't think we're going to get it in this pass, but let me slow it down here. And uh, let's go over here now and figure out what we're going to see here. All right, there is the bridge. Hopefully this uh, traffic. There we go. All right, so we're not going to more than likely get it in this pass. But now we have it locked in. I'm just going to overshoot it here for a second. And then we'll turn back around and get eyes on it. And go ahead and make our first run. down a little bit. Mouse is kind of going crazy here. There we go. Got it to act right. All right. We're about five miles from the target area. That should be enough for us to turn around and, uh, Make sure this TGP is slewed where it needs to be and get on target. So let's go ahead and uh, we're doing good too. I like our altitude. We have threats out there, but nobody's tracking us right now. That's what the information is telling me on there. Keeping our airspeed right around uh, 200 knots. See that bridge again is coming around. See our target line there. some more power. and slow. Here comes the line. Uh, I don't know if that's going to... We were kind of all over the place there. I don't even know if that's going to hit. But the good thing is we only had one come off the rail. So uh, we might... Uh, okay, now we're being tracked. So let's go ahead and make this right turn. Get this guy on our 9 o'clock. There we go. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be a miss. Okay, destroyed. We got it. We got the bridge. No worries there. Paratrooper AK-47 destroyed. 
The objectives looks like it was destroyed accurately, so the bridge was taken out, guys. Primary target mission complete. All right, guys, we can basically RTB now. All right, so we're going to go to our egress point now. Which is basically going to be uh, northwest. Turn, mission's complete. We are done. I was going to stay on station and do some more uh, bombing, but uh, that's just opening myself up to get shot down, so. Short and sweet mission. We only used one bomb, time on target. And I'm going to be honest with you, it was a bit of a nasty, nasty uh, situation there. So what we'll do is we'll... Uh, Get back on base, and we'll probably run another mission. All right, let's go to... Our sixth position and get back home. All right. It's going to basically get us dropped down to uh, 500, 5,000 feet. So we can return home and we'll take our next mission. I had a bunch of other points uh, marked out. on the mission for uh, targets of opportunity, but I didn't end up doing it. I'm just satisfied in getting this part complete. Okay, nine miles, where's this waypoint at? Okay, let me do something here. Let me just stabilize this. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Mission. Ingress. Fence. So we're going to turn outbound. We'll get our lights back on. The Tumi, Hawk 1 1, inbound. Hawk 1 1, our Tumi, fly heading 267 48, QFE 29 decimal 89, runway 13, to pattern altitude. All right, we're gonna fly a 267 for eight. Hulk one one, cleared for visual, contact tower. All right. Atumi, Hulk one one, request landing. I even got on path. I must have toggled the button on accident. Let's see. Let's get back to 267. There we go. Another thing we're going to do here, we are going to put on the ILS for good measure. Let's turn that power on. Now we can essentially keep our ILS on and we need to set our course heading for 130. I'm going to go 
go down about 3,000 feet. All right. And generally, you just want to also marry up your heading as well. There we go. And if you really wanted to, you could uncage these situations here that'll help us with the ILS. All right, and I think we're pretty good here. I'm gonna take it off. Oh yeah, let me get the uh, weapons, everything to safe here. Boom, boom, get it back on the TAD page. There we go. And we're about 3,000 feet. Perfect time to take it off the autopilot. And we'll bleed some speed. We'll start turning back in. And once we get on the ground and get parked, don't worry, this was a very short mission stream just started. We will most certainly uh, go ahead and run another mission here. All right, let's try to keep right around 3,000. So we're now we're going to catch the ILS to the left of us and keep our speed right here for right now here in a second we'll get our landing lights on straighten ourselves up Okay, at this point we should be good to catch for the ILS and we'll make it go a little bit over you can see there's now that waypoint that's mainly the uh, where we started from I'm gonna throw it on autopilot here really quick so I can get the uh, landing light on let's make sure these guys are all on all right there we go So at this point, we're doing well. We should be catching that ILF. Let's go down a little bit. I think we're still to the left. Warning, of it. autopilot. Visual of the runway. It's the landing gear coming down. Landing gear is down three green. I do have the runway in sight. So it's basically going to be kind of an off. We're not necessarily base right now. We're diagonal on the base. And it'll be a shallow final here. Alright, so laps are set for landing. Start making our own inbound return. Keep an eye on that speed. Because if we don't get this right, the whole mission was worth nothing. Alright, time to come back on the speed a little bit. Final check. Landing lights on. Gear is down. Flaps to 20. Let's 
ironic you're basically right up on it and you can see the ILS basically coming right online you can see my horizontal line is also helping me to stay with that ILS which is pretty cool and that's why you have the instrumentation in case we're gonna land in pretty much zero visibility all right I'm coming all the way back on that speed we need to bleed it, of course. Hold one one. Batumi, check landing gear. Wind one two eight at four meters per second. Runway one three. Roger that. Runway one three coming up. All right, just slightly low. There we go. That's where we want to be right altitude. here. Altitude. There goes Betty. Let me know our altitude is no good. little bit of power you don't want to drop her down too prematurely all right that's where we go nose up a little bit all right we have touchdown guys let me go ahead and extend the uh, brakes there We haven't turned nose wheel steering on yet. We're doing some wheel braking at this point. All right, we'll go ahead and activate that nose wheel steering. We're just gonna coast in. Hey, what's up, guy, Captain Cooper? All right. Do some uh, manual braking here, while at the same time we're gonna turn one, off. Taxi parking area. Start bringing our brakes down there. All right. Guys, that was a pretty sweet mission there. We'll go ahead and get our landing lights off. And uh, that wasn't a steady. Whoa. Don't do that at home, guys. That was irresponsible. That could have wrecked us right there. The whole mission would have been in the pooper. So I'm glad uh, we caught that. Try not to do that at home, guys. That was a little bit too much multitasking. Almost cost us the whole mission. I've done it before, just messing around. All right, probably gonna get uh, reprimanded by my uh, officers for being irresponsible. All right, here we go. Off, off. Off, off. Just need to line up here. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff off so we can shut her down. Letting the engines cool off there for a second anyway. Also gonna come down here and get this situation off. That's off, we'll turn the radios off, of course. Boom. Let's shut her down. All right, guys. So we have a uh, first mission uh, complete here. So let's go ahead and get our scorecard. Aircraft is definitely all shut down here, of course. Let's go ahead and jump 
outside and just make sure we're legit. And we saved the United States Air Force some money because we only used, uh, you know, one munition. If you will, it was a good shot. Mission is complete. Uh, we can be proud of ourselves. Let's go take a look at what this looks like now. All right, we're going to go here to quit. Okay, vehicles were destroyed. Let's see. Da -da -da, show my victories. Okay, results 100%. That's good. And we'll come down here and look at the timeline. Sorry if that's kind of loud. Anyway, we won't belabor that. Let's see if I can. I thought I had turned this music down before. There we go. That music is way too loud. All right, let's see what else we got going on here as far as the campaign is concerned. All right, Georgian Hammer. We have a mission success rate of only 84%, but that's because this thing penalizes you if you do not complete the mission and you take it. So, uh, there you go. So there was one time I was flying, I didn't complete the mission, I escaped out, not because I was not going to complete the mission, but because of whatever. So, the mission's flown, so I don't count that, so this is why this is my second mission, really, truly and honestly. Alright, so, what do we got here? All right, interdiction of a tank battery, 72 Bravo, objective at right, T-72 armor units located, da da da. So, it's an interdiction flight, which means we need to go blow these tanks up in any targets of opportunity, so we'll check what our loadout is. There should be a lot of uh, AGMs, uh, which are the Mavericks. All right. So, at Trite, T-70 Army Union located at or Orzugeti. So, what we're going to do now, essentially, is just go in here and check the mission planner. And this is going to determine even if I'm even ready to do this mission right now, or I, sometimes I go do a train up. Alright, so, there's our egress. That means this is the target area here. So all of these little tanks here in the target area are what's of concern. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, enemy. Let's see, these are the tanks. Tanks. Okay, cool. There's no man pads. There's no SAS. So again, we probably just have to worry about uh, aircraft in the air again. If we're going to take this mission. So it looks pretty simple. Uh, and let me just double check the waypoint in the target area. Okay, there's the target area. So what I like to do typically is, uh, I like to take GPS or latitude longitude coordinates of one of the known areas. So potentially on this target, we'll target this guy first. And from this battery, because we're going to be making our left turn here. Uh, so if we come in uh, on the waypoint here, somewhere in this region, attack this target, we can potentially already have this guy locked up over here, make a slow left turn, get him, make another turn, and at least get another one. So I'm going to try to lock three of them up right now with coordinates, and then I'll leave those mark points in that area and essentially... Uh, I'll just use those mark points and then scan left to right to see if we can find the other guys on there. Um, so let's take a look and start getting these points. Uh, essentially what I do is I just take a picture of them with my phone. So we're going to come in here right now and you're going to be looking down here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit Alt Y and that's going to change it so it can make sense for the A10. Uh, to coordinate. So we'll just put the cursor right in the middle of this guy here. And on that target, you can see it's north 41.55. And the last one is really by seconds, but again, uh, they do it kind of strange. 
So I'm gonna let this guy here be the one that we target on our left turn. So the first guy will be A, B, and then this will be our third mark point here, C. Just taking a picture of it right now. All right, so now we know. Now we can go ahead and accept this mission and do one more and hopefully we'll survive this and come back and land and call it a day. So there's our mission, guys. So essentially, and there's some more targets here too, uh, which we'll just look for this Kubaletti airfield and look off essentially to the south. Um, because right here, this area right here alone will be more than enough for us to, uh, okay, that's another battery. This will be more than enough for us to keep ourselves busy than coming away over here, even though our egress point puts us kind of over here. But these are tanks. These don't, don't have a whole lot of anti uh, aircraft capabilities other than, you know, AA. Here's threats and BTR-80. So these can shoot us, you know, so there's a few things here. This SAU, I believe this is a SAM site. So this is out there as well somewhere. Um, that we don't know so we might even want to take a look as we're approaching our waypoint four um, to see what that is and this one I'm not I'm only gonna be 10,000 for the cruise if we get that high and then we'll go in at about 8,000 because sometimes these Mavericks will miss their target I'm gonna try to laze them this time too but we're gonna get right on target and uh, try to lock it up and do a little dive and do what we need to do radio frequencies are all gonna be the same so here we go. So yeah, that first mission, we completed that really quick. I mean, where the stream is only going 47 minutes now, so we're doing really well in terms of uh, time management. All right, let's go ahead and fly this mission. So same thing, we're just gonna get up and at it. No need to waste time. All right, get the battery on here. Let me get this murder on kind of hard not to talk to it I kind of talked to it as well so I can not forget things I mean if you're flying this aircraft the very next thing you want to do once you get the power on basically is Turn that APU generator on, get the CDU and the Iggy going on, get your screens going on because that's the most thing that takes time to line up. Once you get this going on, you can move rather quickly through the process. So we won't turn that on yet. We got the APU on, so we have enough power where these SASs will still benefit us. I'm just going to go ahead and close this seat here. Hopefully we don't actually auto-eject ourselves. Check one, one, bra, zero, three, four, four, forty, at 10,000, cold. Go ahead and start talking to ATC now. Get our clearance to taxi out. Pull up, pull up. Four, four, passing waypoint, two. Altitude, three, four, altitude. One, 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 request startup. All right, so we are cleared for startup. Ford three on station at Bulls two zero two for sixteen at twenty thousand. Now we're gonna go ahead and load all of the data cartridges. We can go ahead and get this guy on, so that we can get out of here, guys, and get to our mission. Gotta wait till the cartridges are loaded up and all the nav points so we can figure out what is going to happen with our lives. In the meantime, let's check here. Boost pumps are on. Let's go ahead and make concessions to get our lights on, of course. So now we're making concessions to get our lights on. Uh, just until we take off and then we will most certainly turn those off. Uh, we won't, eh, we'll just get our anti-collision on already. Two, passing waypoint two at 16, all right, let's do our oxygen test here. Enfield 2, on station at Bullseye 2, 4, 7, 4, 13, at 16, All right, we got 
got the flashing up there, which is good. Let's test our fuel gauge. We got 10,700 pounds. All right, fuel gauge is doing good. And now we need to do our indicator uh, switch test. All right, all the panels are lighting up. We've got everything there on the enunciator. Okay, that's good. We're happy with that. All right, DTS cartridge is loaded. Tally armor at balls, two, eight, nine, four, one. So now we can get right into the DMS. And this four, is still four, right there. A at ball, so zero, while that's two, happening five, as well, four, we can two. go ahead and start the left engine. The whole thing is to try and beat the alignment of the INS here. So we still got a few minutes here. Got rotation on the left Cold engine. One, passing waypoint two. Gauges are coming up and active. Let's get our anti-skid on. We can also set our flaps if you're looking right here. I can go ahead and do that now since we have APU power. So we don't have to worry about that. Anti-skid is on. Panels are on good here. Once we align, we can do the Iggy, so there's going to be certain stuff we just got to wait on. Alright, let's look at our... Nine, go ahead and three. also uh, start getting our TGB on. Let's see, we got two CBU-97s, Mark 82 oh, fixed on. high, so we can do a high. And uh, we got AGM-65, so maybe we'll try a bombing run first and we'll use our... We can use our unguided bombs first. So we'll go on a certain profiles. Okay, this thing's engine is good, so lot to do, a little amount of time. All right, let's check the right rotation. Okay, it's starting to rotate. Let's check the gauges being active. Gauges are becoming active. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go over here really quick and use our time wisely. So we're going to come first into, let's do the bomb profiles first. So we're gonna do them single rip. One, one. Magic one, one. Nose Rob, tail fusing. Zero, four, seven, four, 30, we're gonna change the mode to CCRP. Uh, do, do, do. Minimum altitude is gonna be a thousand feet as always. Chevy two passing waypoint three at three hundred. Climb, boom boom. So we're good there. So we're gonna save that profile setting. And now we have to go back, engines are on, so now we can get the APU generator off. As well as turning it off completely. You can hear it spool down. Now the INS is Chevy ready. So we gotta hit it now. Verify the nav. Iggy steer point down here. Enfield 2, tally armor at bullseye 0, 0 6, thing is 5, freezing, but anyway, we need to get this on flight plan. Later on those points, we'll put in the CDU while we're airborne. Um, which technically we should do it now really quick. Okay, let's go finish doing this profile setup. Okay, rip single, CCRP, okay, that looks good. I always go back and double check them because sometimes they don't Enfield save. Go to our CBU 97s, new profile, same thing. Rip single, rip quantity one. Of course, we want CCRP. Of course, same thing. Uh, minimum altitude is going to be a thousand. Same thing. We're just going to set everything up right now, guys. I'm not going to have time. These missions are so shallow. Remember, I got to go back and double check CCRP. Okay, profile main. All right, let's come back over here now to the Mavericks. View the profile. And I always just, for whatever, put them in CCRP. Single is fine. Minimum altitude, same thing. We'll do a thousand. And save it. And those are D's, Cold right? One. In from the southwest. Let me see Engaging those, armor at balls. Two, two, four, one. Let's see, the objective, I believe, was four. Let me run through this here. One, two, three, four. Yep, the objective is four. Chevy two in from the southeast. So we're gonna put four here. Bullseye two, eight, two, the waypoint four, range. We're gonna just you know ten Cold nautical one. miles. In from the southwest. Engaging Actually, let's armor at ball zero six five four out. three. Let's do at least fifteen. Because I need to give it time to make sure it's zero, six, uh, started two, four, up. Seven. 
and same thing it's basically a northern heading where that target area is at so now that's on and we just hit this to location so now that's done and then we arm the laser so now that's done and guys um, we're pretty much ready to go we just need to put this back on the pad and get our mark points going so uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Engaging armor at bullseye two nine seven four one. All right. So first thing to do, we're going to turn this south. Engaging uh, at bulls zero four nine four three. Over to you know what? We don't even need to. I can just make the mark points as Chevy I want. Two, we'll turn on the mission. South. Engaging armor at bulls one. And we're armor gonna at bulls zero six five four three. Scroll in here a little bit. Four, zoom in, and we're just going to do waypoint and waypoint now you see the next waypoint in the mission is eight we're gonna make this eight uh essentially chevy two tally designation of nine four zero four one four let me see how i want to do this ten thousand flanking yeah we'll do it because mark points really i'll look at that in the in the sky and make mark points these ones i want to designate uh target and we're going to designate it as uh tgt1 and so on and so forth so, first thing we need to do, we want mark point A. We want mark point A to be the very first uh, picture that we took. So I'm going to pull that up now. Chevy 2, defending triple A at ball uh, zero one, two, two, five, three. four two. Okay, Chevy so I have two, the first coordinates. South, engaging triple A at ball zero two, five, four two. 41, 51, 55. Chevy 2, four. from the southwest, engaging Sam at Bulls 0, 4, 9, 4, and 3. And put a 0 there. Chevy 2, kill triple A at 41, Bulls 0, 55, 2, 5, 4, 54. 2. Okay, and this Chevy one over two. here is going to be... Chevy 2, south, engaging artillery at Bulls 0, 2, Actually, you know nine, what? I have four, to put three. a 0 in front of the 42. If I don't, it will get a, something wrong. 0, 42, 0, 3, 6, 4, 0... Three, six, four. For the longitude, that didn't come out right. Zero, four, two. Okay, let's try this again. Zero, four, two. Okay, I know what I need to do. It should be uh, zero, four, two. Zero, four, two. Zero, zero, three, six, four. Let's see if that takes it. All right, zero, four, two, zero, three, six, four. Yep. Forty-one, fifty-five, point five, four, zero. Okay, that's good. And uh, let's see. Chevy two in from the south. Engaging steer point where we're at now. I think this is. Oh, that's for time on target. And you know what? Colt 1, in from the northwest. I just literally just changed this information out to steer point 1. What this information should be is for steer point 8. So, uh, let me see if I can... Chevy 2, kill triple Let me see what that did. Zero, Might have made a mistake three, here. Four, yeah, so actually, spare point 1 now, which is not the airport, is, uh... Chevy okay. 2, defending radar so about at to do here. Zero, four, seven, four, three. Chevy 2, in from the south, engaging radar Colt 1, Bulls in from the west, Bulls engaging Bulls triple three. A at Bullseye 3, 2, Chevy 2, four, one. in from the south, engaging Sam at Bulls 0, 4, 9, 4, 3. All right, sorry about that. I had to talk to my boss, the wife. Okay, so essentially, this first waypoint is actually going to be our target. I'm not going to change it. And I just changed this next one down here, if you will. So steer point eight is actually going to be our second target. Okay, so 
Chevy two. Kill now that we're on stair point eight, three, two, we can two, go ahead 41. and do 41, 55, 619. That's going to go for the latitude. Then for the longitude, it's 41, 59, Engaging Sam at bullseye 59, 0, 4, 9, 4, 977. Sometimes you got to watch these points. Uh, so that's going to be that one, and the last one is going to be, of course, steer point nine. That way we just keep them steer points there. 4155, 4155, 979, and this first one right here, and 4158, 616. Now here's the thing, normally you could do this in the air if you had a big long mission. Chevy 2, um, from the south, engaging triple A at balls 05943. Let's see, let's clear it out. Let's see, I must have typed it wrong. Let's see, 041, 041, 5, There we go. I was going to say, that's the coordinates that I have. So, 41, 55, 979, 041, There we go, guys. So, now we have all of our waypoints in there. That's mission waypoint 9. And uh, now we can get on mission again. We have to do this because it takes so much time uh, in order to do this in the air as to where you wouldn't want to do it uh, trying to manage your weapons because this is a very short flight. So as you see, the target area is right around the corner, basically. Um, so let's get this back on steer points. And Chevy 2, in from the south, engaging triple A at balls 05943. Batumi, Hog, 1-1, one, one. request taxi to runway. We are ready to go. All systems are on, nothing on the enunciator. Batumi, clear to taxi to runway 3-1. Take off trim, we've been cleared to taxi. Ooh, and this, hopefully this mission goes quick, because I got tacos to eat. Wifey just brought him in, so I'm excited about that. All right, everything else looks good here. If there's anything missing, we'll figure it out. All right, landing Four, lights are four. on. Tally triple A at balls zero five nine four three. Laps are set to take off. We'll get the pedo heat going. Let's go get this mission complete. We got some T-72s to blow up. And actually, last mission, I was going to fly around in an orbit around them and actually blow them up. Uh, but you know what? Chevy we decided to RTB. Engaging triple A at bullseye 05943. Hog 1-1, one, one, Magic 1-1, one, one, Bra 041-450 at 10,000 flanking. Colt 1, in from the west, engaging armor at Bulls 06546. Batumi, Hog 1 1, request takeoff. Chevy 2, in from the southeast, right, we're get our engaging lights on here. at Bulls 04943. Let's get our pedo heat on. So at this point we're good to go. Chevy two in from the south. Members one in from the northwest. Point zero is actually Armor point one. Balls two eight nine four one. Hulk one one. Are you able to clear for takeoff? And we're just going to do a roll and takeoff, folks. Hulk one one. Batumi, you are cleared for takeoff. We're ready. Climb three zero zero at QFE two nine decimal eight nine. Chevy 2, tally armor at balls 07649. Chevy 2, defending Sam at balls 04943. So 
there's some Sams out there we might want to work on. Engaging armor at bullseye zero six seven four six. Chevy two, kill Sam at bullseye right zero that sun. four nine four three. Alright, flaps up completely. And then lights off. Alright, let's make our system go active to auto. Arm the master right away. Chevy 2, defending triple A at bullseye 0. Five nine four three. Chevy two in from the southwest, engaging armor at bullseye zero seven one four eight. Chevy two kill triple A at bullseye zero five nine four three. All right, so this one going to Cold stair point two, Tally good thing is we have zero, six, one, four, seven. 16 miles to go. I want to climb nice and slow. Cold one, defending triple A at balls zero, six, one, four, seven. Cold one, in from the west, engaging armor at balls zero, 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 four, one. So we got about 24 nautical miles to go to that one waypoint to the uh one, one, one. magic one one bra zero five five four thirty five at ten thousand flanking. Colt one defending triple A at balls zero seven seven four nine. Alright, that speed is perfect. Get plenty of altitude here. Let's go ahead and go here to the DSMS. And let's go ahead and we're going to do some Mark 82 drops first, of course. There we go. Chevy 2, kill armor at balls 06746. Alright, let's go ahead and drop our nose down a little bit. Chevy 2, in from the southwest, engaging triple A at bullseye 0, 6, 9, 4, 8. All right. Chevy 2, defending triple A at bullseye 0, 6, 9, 4, 8. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Colt 1, defending triple A at bulls 0, Chevy 7, kill triple A at bullseye 0, 6, 9, 4, 8. All right, now essentially what we're doing is we're targeting the area to see what we have. Interesting. Let us let's go. Enfield two, tally triple A at bullseye zero seven two four eight. Oh, black hot. Let's see what white hot is. I Cold like the white hot too. Magic one one. Bra okay, zero looks like we got something two, over here. Cold one in from the east, engaging armor at bulls zero one three four one. Bra, 0 at 10,000, flanking. We definitely need to take this guy out. I think we need to do this with a missile, though.
get him in point just in case. Okay, so we're about 12 nautical miles out. So I'm not even following my flight plan anymore. All right, we bring that speed way down. All right, let me pull that speed way back. Let me get these guys off. Now that we got somebody designated, I want to go ahead and use this D. Uh, let's see. 65D, we need to get the Maverick on. Let's see what we got going on here. Why is that Maverick not turning on? Why is it off? Why is the EO? You know what? Let's get the EO on. So. We must have not hit the degrees to the... Oh, because we didn't go to the waypoint. So we just had to turn the EO on, period. Which is no problem. Chevy 2, defending all right. A at okay. all time. Here we go. Six, one, four, seven. We got to come off target here for a second. We need to put these guys to our 9 o'clock. See, we're pumping out those flares. Look at that. Those flares coming out. Chevy 2, kill triple A at ball 0, 6, 1, 4, so we 7. we got to do some defensive flying here. Tally armor at ball 0, 7, 9, 4, 9. All right. So no worries Ball there. One, Just doing a little defensive flying. Ball time, zero, five, six, four, three, Let's do a small little thousand, orbit here. Actually, I'm going to turn it back the other way. I want to put a little bit of distance between us and the target so we have enough time to engage. Plus, our EEO is aligning. The EEO is going to take a few minutes. We can give ourselves some distance here. I'm trying to keep this F8. What is that? Uh, I'm trying to keep this F18 off me. Chevy two in from the southwest, engaging armor at balls zero seven zero four seven. All right, EO is still aligning. That's okay. We got about 11 nautical miles from the target, which is pretty much to our south, or not to our south, but uh, let's see, we're traveling west, so it's at about of a heading of about 40. One, one. It's about Magic east. One, one. Bra, zero, four, nine, four, nine, at 10, All right, we got missile launch. Let's make our turn. One, in from the south, engaging armor at bullseye, zero, zero, two, for one. Come on. Two, kill armor at bullseye zero, seven, zero, four, seven. 10,000 flanking. All right, it's hot up here. The EEO is still aligning. That thing takes forever to line. In from the west, engaging Sam at balls zero, seven, seven, four, nine. That's what I get for not going. Uh, there we go. EEO is good, guys. Now they're in trouble. What do we got here? 12 nautical miles, and uh, we can just swing right back in on the target now, guys. Which is kind of good. I'm keeping that enemy aircraft. You want to keep them to your 9 o'clock or your 3 o'clock. All right, let's roll in on this target. Let's drop our airspeed. Looks like the target's there. It hasn't moved because I have it on point track. I see two aircraft up there too. You can see them flying right out there. They're just hovering.
Range is still a little far out. Let me just keep these guys at bay. Hawk 1-1, one, one. Magic 1-1, one, one. merged. All right, I'm actually, all right, he's, he's back with me. Okay. All right, he's locked. All right, he's locked up, guys. We're gonna drop the nose a little bit, and I'm gonna make it easier for the aircraft to fire. All right, rifles, we got one away, and uh, of course we got inbound targets here. Let's see if we can miss this missile. Looking in the camera down there. We got about six seconds. Colt one, engaging bandit at bullseye three zero nine for one at one two hundred. We have destroyed that vehicle. Perfect. All right. So we got him out of the way. You can see in the Maverick now still locked on there. Okay, now we still need to get on these tanks. So we're still going to have to go back and do a search. So let's see here. We're passing over the objective. Literally, it's above us right now. Let's go up a little higher. Check our fuel stores here. And we're just basically going to go up higher. And uh, that was a good hit. I think we'll be launching any missiles anytime soon. All right, let's get some altitude. And I'm going to put the objective basically right behind us. Okay, that means we're being tracked. Chevy 2, infrared southwest, engaging armor at bullseye 0, 7, 9, 4, 9. Okay, that was just we're being tracked. We're still being tracked. It's okay. It's okay. We still got flares, we still got a defensive posture. put the get a little bit more altitude here we're at 10,000 hog 1-1 one, one. magic 1-1 one, one. bra 277-48 at 10,000 knots okay so there got some action going down there at 10,000 Keep it right there. Okay. Now we're gonna put ourselves into an orbit here, so I'm just gonna keep us in the left bank. All right, I'm gonna slow the speed down. Now we're essentially gonna be in a left bank so we can work on these targeting. Here we go, guys. Once we come around and get eyes on, we slow our aircraft down. We'll try to find another target, of course. Right now, you can see the aircraft is looking at its own self just because of where it's at on the turn. Target's basically off our left wing, down there somewhere. We just gotta locate another target of opportunity and we need to get rid of some of those tanks. All right, almost coming around where 
it's going to basically uh, be in front of us. Actually, a right turn probably would have been much better. Uh, look at all that sun because we got it in white hot. Let me... Golf 3, passing waypoint 2 at 4,000. Oh, you know what? I'm over here pushing buttons. I'm not even on the one I need to be on. There we go. Chevy 2, in front of West. Engaging armor at all. Zero, seven, nine, four, nine. Okay. So now we're making our circle. We're right here in the speed that we want to be. Let's just come down here and keep searching. So he's been destroyed. Let us search. Okay, how about we go to... Ah, we just missed it. I think I need to put us into a right bank, actually. Which is going to be the better option to get eyes on this target. That's going to stop us from... degrees that means the targets right behind us at five miles which is good okay perfect so what we want is the altitude hold so once we get it far enough back it should come back into view once we get because right now TGP if you look at this little white dot it's looking off to the right there we go so now this is going to give us much more time to really look at the target area. Hog 1-1, one, one, Magic 1-1, one, one, pop-up group 334-426 three, three, four, four, at 3000, flanking. thing is, this, they're off of our, well, they were off of our 3 o'clock. Chevy 2, in front of Southwest, engaging triple A at ball zero. Right, this orbit zero, is not the best. There we go. Let me just. Chevy 2, defending triple A at bullseye zero seven zero four nine. Alright. Autopilot's on. Speed is good. Let's look for uh, some targets here while we've got some time. Okay, I see a tank. Chevy 2, kill triple A at ball zero. There we go. That's zero, one of our objectives. Nine. Let me zoom in on him. There we go. Let's put him point. And, uh, okay. We're going to put point in case he moves. And let's lock him up. Perfect. Alright guys, I think we got something we can work with here. We're going to go ahead and slave all sensors to that sensor point of interest. Hog 1-1, one, one. Magic 1-1, one, one. pop-up group 338-426 three, three, at 1,500 flanking. Alright. Chevy 2, in front of east, engaging utility at bullseye 03144. As you can see now, we have Chevy a good two, eye of the target. Chevy 2, A at bullseye 06046. Let's go ahead and try to lock it up, and then we'll roll in on it. Come on. Uh, that's not what we wanted. That didn't work out too well at all. I was too close to the screen. There we go. Alright, now let's try to lock him up. Try to lock. Sometimes you gotta go on their wheelbase too. There we go. 
All right, so once we make our spin around, we're coming in on them. Let's go ahead and fly a manual. All right, speed is Chevy good. Two, defending triple A at balls zero six zero four. Two point five miles out. It's right off of our left wing. So let's turn over this way and give ourselves another. Create a little bit of distance. Chevy two in from the north. Engaging triple A at bullseye zero. off see something out there flashing still so this must still be on okay that's an off position all right guys here we go all right time to roll in do what we do reducing speed here Colt three passing waypoint three at seven thousand Went all the way around. All right, we got the tank. Come on, guys, don't mess with me. Let me blow your comrades up down there. The sun is right in my eye. to get this run right. Excuse me. The uh, the weapon is being a little bit uh, stingy. It's uh, essentially being super hard to lock up. Now normally you can fly that cursor onto it. That's why let me get some distance from us. good on fuel. <clears throat> All right, we got to stay on station until we exhaust our weapon stores. of the problem too once you uh, get too close to the target making any inputs uh, in order to acquire the target just by putting the cross over the maverick thing is hard that's why I'm trying to line it up that's why distance on this one well I've seen between five and seven miles you can be pretty accurate with your nose down right now I'm up high I know these mavericks they hit harder uh, they hit much harder when you have a negative pitch. Engaging armor at bullseye zero seven. When we get right about to seven, we can start making our turn. It's basically right behind us. Back on the speed. So we can bleed some in the turn. It's heading three five two. Alright, bleeding that speed as desired. We are within the limits back around. Let's leave that speed. I want a nice slow approach. Colt 3, kill armor at bullseye zero seven one for 8. Chevy 2, in from the northeast, engaging triple A at balls zero six zero four six. Chevy 2, defend. 
Send All right, triple speed and right where I want it. Zero, six, zero, four, six. Now, let us lock it up. Still not close enough, still not one to lock it. There we go. There we go, guys. That was the whole problem. And let's roll in. All right, here we go. Roll in, nose down. Missile is away. All right, we'll keep about right there. Colt three, kill armor at bulls zero eight zero for nine. Back up, see if we actually hit it. All right, we destroyed that T-72, which is one of our objectives. Speed is good, now we gotta go find another one. All right, that's two down. Right now it's gonna be a little hot from that smoke. Back up we go. Get our altitude back. All right. So now we can cycle over to that Maverick. we go we just have to find another target Let's keep this guy. three kill Sam at bullseye zero two zero for 23 got a new threat to our north, right engaging armor at bullseye zero seven two for eight Chevy two in from the northwest engaging triple A at balls zero Trying to keep these guys parallel to me. I'm looking at my RWS, the guy I'm this uh, F-18. Oh, I think we overshot him. He must have been making a turn himself. You know, I think that's Kobaletti right there. There's some tanks in that area down there too. I see some activity down there. It's okay, we're focused on our area one. I'm gonna fly out over the water and then we're gonna come back in. Once I get more experience, uh, I'll be able to be a little bit more effective shorter term but right now I need to give myself as much ample time to find a target of opportunity or a target that's in the mission briefing and uh, knock it out so that's why I'm coming out over this water all right I hear you Seven thousand back on the speed. Big time. Let's believe that speed and come in nice and slow. We're about thirteen nautical miles from the target. It's at about a heading of uh, two, defending triple one one zero. zero six zero four six. One oh five now. One oh four. Just made the TGP sensor of interest. Nice and slow on that turn, I love it. Nice. 
nice and high. Right there, perfect. Now let's get to work. And out we go. Let's see, are we zoomed in? Okay. I see another tank, I believe. Okay, you know what we can do? Let's go up and remember. Oh, we're being tracked. Golf 3, defending Sam at Golf 0 2 0 for 23. Okay, let's take it off the autopilot. We're just being tracked. Blind spot. Still tracking us. Colt three, kill armor at Bolt Lab Zero Seven Three for eight. Stop tracking us. Jamming that Sam. That's a Sam site down there. Woof. All right. Sam site noise gone. Where's our objective? Now we put in some other coordinates. Get on mission. Bring that speed down. Okay. Let's get on these mission waypoints. One, two, two. Okay. Let's go up. Boom, boom, boom. All right. There we go. Eight and nine are what we're talking about. All right. So there's eight. And that's to our right, about three, four nautical miles. That's also, let's see, speed is good. Four nautical miles, that's about right. All right, let's get it to where we can have a good look of the area so that we can find some targets. We've already been doing a pretty good job. Uh, just got to watch out for these aircraft. Keep it in a little bit of a turn. Speed is good. Now let's find us some targets. Okay, we already destroyed this guy. So he is definitely not who we're looking for. Who else is out here? 
Dog 1-1, one, one. Magic 1-1, one, one. Pop-Up Group 346, 421, at 500, flanking. See the tank was over here in this clearing. Let's just see if we have anybody here else in this clearing. It looks suspicious. Nothing good there. Let's change the contrast there, see if we can see. There we go. That way we can look closer by Blackout is good because I think those are the two targets we took out there. Blackout is good because you can you're able to kind of look when it's around that smoke. Speed is good. I always got to check on that. All right, guys, we can just keep searching now. It's always good when you can take your time and do a nice, slow search of targets. You know, we got this guy here. It's not really interesting to me. He's not one of our target vehicles, but. Actually, you know what we can do with him, guys? Magic one one pop up group three five. We could just mark him. at two thousand cold. Boom. All right, I just mark one one magic one one bra three five five four fourteen at four thousand five hundred. I just essentially marked him, so we can come back and destroy him if we don't find anything else. Tally man at ball zero. Okay, let's do something. Let's go back up here. And Colt three, let's go to nine. West, engaging triple A at Bulls zero three seven for four. All right. Okay, now we're at the location where nine is at, and I do see one of the targets uh, that we should be seeing. Let's see if we can zoom in a little closer. All right, and we are above him, so. Let me just make sure on the turn. We always want to try to get the kind of like the edge. All right, we're going to get you right there, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and lock him up. And of course, we just hit gimbal limits, but that's okay. Now that we got him locked Call up. Three, defending triple A at bull 037. Let's four. go ahead and slave all sensors to him. And now we can go ahead and get ready for our dive bomb or our dive missile launch. Let's go ahead and take it off autopilot, folks. Let's roll in. You see that sun? All right. We're about five nautical miles, so we're still within a good range. It's going to drop a little bit of altitude here. That's why I'm bringing the speed back. Because remember, I, in my opinion, these missiles work way better when you're dive bombing, even when it says it's in range. She's coming around. Don't worry about it. A 10,000 speed's looking good. Southwest, 
something right here about 9,000. We got just over the target. I don't understand what's going on there. Why is my camera moving like that? All right, let's turn the TGP off. It's doing something crazy there. I see two bandits right there and right in front of us. They are Chevy definitely two, a threat. Northrod West, engaging triple A. Bulls three, Bulls Bulls triple A at Bulls zero three seven for four. Colt 3, engaging bandit at Bulls 073 for 7 at 1,800. Chevy 2, tally armor at Bulls 072 for 8. Hog 1 1, Magic 1 1, Bra 318 for 14. I'm trying to see if I still got visual on those guys. I'm going to engage them. They're off to the right, and they're kind of close, too close for comfort. Hog 1-1, one, one. Magic 1-1, one, one. Bra 328-412 at 9,000 knots. They should be right out at my front, but I don't see them anymore. Hog 1-1, one, one. Magic 1-1, one, one. Bra 327-412 at 9,000 flanking. roll in to the target area and as you can see you know what I think that thing is in search mode hog one one magic one one bra zero zero eight four eight at ten thousand flanking Searching. I don't know why my uh, situation is doing that. Chevy 2, in from the northwest, engaging triple A at bullseye 06046. Alright. TGP is going crazy. Alright, where's our speed out? A little slower than we want. Chevy 2. Defending triple A at Bulls. Let me see what's zero, going on with six, this zero, TGP four, here. Hog one one, magic one one, bra three three eight four ten at eleven thousand flanking. Hog 1-1, one, one, Magic 1-1, one, one, Bra 3-4-0-4-9, at 12 Colt 3, Engaging Bandit at Bulls 0-0-4 zero, zero, for 15, at 13,000. Alright, essentially what I'm trying to do at this point is uh, I'm going to have to look at the switches here, one, I think one, I know what happened. One, one, merged. Let's see. Hog 1-1, one, one, Magic 1-1, one, one, Bra 348-44 at 12,000 flanking. Let's 
be some type of malfunction going on with my TGP. I got it to stop. Nope, you can still see it's moving around. It is. And, and if you look out, this thing must be... You can see it's circling around like crazy, so I don't know why the scan mode is on. So this thing, it went into some type of dynamic scan. Right, though this is confusing me let's go just with our maverick and uh, we can still do what we need to do with the maverick so that's what we're gonna do guys one one magic one one draw two four 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 six at sixteen thousand cold all right here we go Take it off autopilot and let's do what we do. We'll find this manually. We don't need no stinking TGP acting up. Okay, now we're being tracked. Okay, not the missile launch right there. One one, magic one one, bra two one one four eight at ten thousand. Come on, baby. We've been in the sky too long to get shot down. There's the missile right there. Hug one one, magic one one, bra one nine five four. Let's recover, recover, no worries. Okay, we got here, guys. Come on, eject, eject. out of this thing but we have essentially crashed and burned and we hit. there's the culprit there is the culprit right there he got us and that's part of the fun in this it's realistic you can't get shot down guys so huh that was Something else. That guy's showing off. Well, guys, I don't know what to say except we got shot down. 